What I have here is a germination test. This is a paper towel that I've already um, finished testing. Um, what I had done is I um, put out seeds. These are white Russian kale seeds. Um, I had laid them out on the paper towel and I laid out 20 seeds. I'm just gonna put them back here, they fell off. And I wet the towel, paper towel till it was damp, not sopping wet. And I placed it in this plastic bag and I sealed it and I marked the date. I left it for a few days and after a few days, all um, the seeds were done germinating and I counted them up. Now on this piece of paper, there were 20 seeds and I counted 18 that had germinated. So that's pretty good uh, percentage of germination. Um, so basically the formula is you have, um, you count up your seeds you count the numbers that germinated. In my case, I put 20 seeds down of the white Russian kale, 18 of them germinated. Um, you do a simple division equation, equaling 90% germination rate. So in this packet of seeds, 90% of these white Russian kale seeds will germinate. So the pretty safe bet when you're planting that most of them will germinate. These are seeds that I had collected from my own kale plants. So um, I wanted to see if they were still viable and they're several years old. The ideal test is to test 100 seeds. Um, to, you would test 100 seeds and you'd see how many of those are viable. The, the number that would germinate would give you the percentage within that uh, collection of those seeds specifically that uh, to check their germination rate. So that percentage would tell you whether or not they're good. So um, if you have a small and limited garden space and you're unsure if the seeds are viable or not, you test and to be sure that you wouldn't want to waste space. Now in a case where it's seeds like a 90% germination rate, you know that they will germinate. You don't need to overseed, but if you have a low germination rate, then you would think about maybe planting thickly and hope that um, most of the seeds would germinate in that case. So this was a good pack. Now I had another pack here which was, um, I'm gonna close this up. So this is what I did, I closed up the, uh, I put the, the seeds inside the paper towel, I, um, I moistened it, closed it up, folded it, and put it inside the Ziploc bag, and I kept it for a few days in a bright location, and they germinated. So here's another one I did. This is the red mustard. So these were my red mustard seeds from my garden. Um, and here's the result of this test. In this one, I put more seeds. I had a lot more of them, so I wanted to test a larger number. So I'm gonna open them up. Okay. Now this, these seeds were not as viable as the previous set of seeds. These are red mustard seeds and they had also germinated or they had left them in the bag for four days to germinate. I planted 50 seeds and you can see some of them ger did germinate beautifully. Here's a very nice seedling. You can see some other ones here. And it looks like they did a good job, but they didn't actually because the actual number of seeds was 50 seeds. Uh, so I had 50 seeds that germinated Sorry, 50 seeds uh, set out in the, in the paper towel, 12 of them germinated. Simple division equation, 12 divided by 50, and I got 24% germination rate. So in this case, these seeds are not very viable. Um, I wouldn't put all my um, expectation to plant a big area with these seeds, expecting that they would germinate for me. So if I was to use them again, I would probably plant triple the thickness um, maybe three in the same, you know, really, really thickly and then hope that I would get a few and I wouldn't really expect much out of these. They're not bad, but they're, they're not, um, the chance, the 24% germination rate is a pretty bad rate. And in, in a seed company, they probably would not sell seeds at 24% germination rate because, um, the, the, the odds are, are bad. So if you're only planting a few, you probably will only get almost none. So this was not a good result. The white Russian, uh, kale seeds were, were excellent. So I just want to give you this uh, quick tutorial on how to do a germination test. It's very simple. Lay the seeds on a paper towel, the number that you choose. Moisten the paper towel, close it up, moisten it, and then put it inside the Ziploc bag. Seal it, write the date, wait a few days, check on them, open it up and count it up and see how many seeds have germinated. Now after all these days, I doubt very many more will germinate on this case. So these ones are done the wet Russian kale, 90% germination rate. So these are good to go and I'm gonna plant them for sure this year. There they are there. Anyway, thanks so much for watching.
I really appreciate you taking the time and taking a look at my video. Now, I will have more videos on my YouTube channel, so please subscribe uh, for updates. I look forward to seeing you all again. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye for now.